Okay, here's a quick test just to see how well Photoshop does in comparison to a uh, panoramic software called PT GUI. I'm just using the trial version on my uh, on the Mac here just now. Let's see how fast this works. So here's a panoramic image which I did and it's got 37 images in it. So I'll highlight them all and we'll open them and we'll see how well it does in uh, merging them all together. Oh, okay, that uh, was pretty good. I'll put the time down below to see how long that took. But uh, straight away, give it a second to merge it all. Oh, that is impressive. That is very impressive. I'm going to export that as it is just now, and then we'll do it with the Photoshop just after, and we'll compare the differences. So, it took a little bit longer to export it. Let's just have a little look at how Photoshop does now. So in Photoshop, you've got the file, automate, and you've got photo merge. I guess I'm just gonna go with auto. Um, I don't see any reason not to. So go with browse. Let's see how long this one takes. That's, that's not looking too good. Okay, it's still blending selected layers based on content. Okay, so that's what Photoshop comes up with. And that was a heck of a lot longer uh, than uh, PT GUI and looks like crap. There's, I don't really see any ability for me to edit this in this state. It's not like I can bend it round or anything like that. Uh, but let's just, oh god, that is, that is, that is embarrassing. Uh, then let's just go export that. So, there you have it. You've got PT GUI at the bottom, which did it pretty darn well, and then you've got Photoshop up at the top. Photoshop costing around about six, eight hundred pounds. Photomatics at PT GUI costing just under 80 euros, if you want just the basic version, which is what I use there. So, what do you use?